Today I wanted to show you how you can get your data layers for Google Tag Manager implemented quicker on your site and test that they are working correctly. So to do this, if you head over to datalayerdoctor.com, uh, you will get to this screen. Um, I'm going to create a new project. I'm going to give it a name. And you'll see that I've got a, a variety of options here, um, ranging from uh, a basic to a blog to a retail site. Um, if I wanted to, for example, install the enhanced e-commerce for Google Tag Manager, these specs are quite difficult to write and they're quite long. So I'm going to select this template, I'm going to hit continue, and you'll see that the tool has already populated some sample data for me uh, for each of these different types of pages. And you'll see, for example, that on the confirmation page, the data is different uh, for a purchase than it is um, when you view a product. So this is quite complex code, and you can see it's already been generated in a matter of seconds. You don't have to wade through the GTM documents. So once you've created that, you can hit continue and uh, head to the editor. And you'll see here now, I've got a ready-to-go implementation guide, which the developers can um, be sent. I can print this out, or I can send them a link to it. Um, and you can see it's got all the variables I need for a category page and it's got some sample code that they can use to put on their site. The same for each of the different page types. Here's a product page. And you can see there that documentation, again, it would have taken a while to implement, but uh, it's done it instantly. So um, that's the first part. If you need to change it at all, you can head in here and you can turn on and off certain variables. So if, for example, you're on the product page uh, and you wanted, or let's say um, <clears throat> you wanted currency code to be on the site, then I can just turn that on like that, and you can see here it's added currency code automatically. And that will be reflected in the updated documentation. You can also add new variables. So if I wanted uh, to add a new variable, maybe called environment, uh, to say that whether it's we're in production or not, which is useful for uh, when you're testing tags. And uh, again, I'm just going to associate that with all of my pages, like so. And now if you go back to the notes, you'll see that environment has been added to all the, uh, all the code. Once you're done, you can actually head over to here and, uh, and hit Run Diagnosis. And what this does is it will check any particular, <clears throat> any pages that have been implemented, um, where your data has been implemented, and check them against the specs you've produced here. So I'll just do one particular example. Um, I'm going to put in my website. Now my website doesn't have this data layer on the site, so we should get an error. So you can see this goes off and it fetches the URL that we've specified for this pretend product page. And it comes back with the data layer we have on the site and it shows me here that I am missing this variable and I'm missing this variable. So again, I can uh, send this report to the developers and they can fix the uh, data layer very quickly. So I hope that's a useful tool. Do head over to datalayerdoctor.com, um, get a free account and give it a go.